always aim at perfection, for only then will you achieve excellence. True to the court, this exemplary legend withstood all hardships and strived for excellence through perfection in every aspect of his life. He was a restless seeker of adventure, and he came to represent an exhilarated idea of Indianness, progressive, benevolent, ethical, and compassionate. Do you know who he is? He's none other than Jahangir Ratanji Dada Boy Tata, GRD as known to commoner and king. Namaste. JRD Tata was born on 29 July 1904 into a Parsi family as Jahangir, meaning conqueror of the world, was rightfully given as he conquered the business world in India. JRD Tata may be remembered for his foolproof business strategies and unbelievable turnovers. But his true legacy as an entrepreneur started with thinking outside the box. At a time when the world wars were in play and the world was advancing in mechanics and technology, Jadi decided to put his love for flying into action and turned his attention to the then less popular aviation industry. He not only became India's first licensed pilot on 10th February 1929, but also founded India's first commercial airline in 1932, Tata Airlines, now known as Air India. That same year, he also flew the first commercial mail flight to Juho Airport in a Pusmat. Hailed the father of the aviation industry, GRD's success lies in the fact that he decided to dive into an industry the potential of which was gravely underplayed in the Indian market and created history among the skies. He nourished and nurtured his airline through to 1953 when the government of Jawaharlal Nehru nationalized Air India. It was a decision JRD had fought against tooth and nail. Like every entrepreneur, he came up with a unique idea and made it a global success through sheer force of commitment. He joined Tata Sons as an unpaid apprentice in 1925. In 1938, at the age of 34, Tata was elected chairman of Tata Sons, making him the head of largest industrial group in India. For decades, he directed the huge Tata group of companies with major interest in steel, engineering, power, chemicals and hospitality. To name a few Tata Motors, in 1945, India's first independent economic policy institute established in 1956. Tata Consultancy Services in 1968, Titan Industries in 1987, and many more. He was famous for succeeding in business while maintaining high ethical standards. He followed a business mantra of Humanta Hukta Havarshita, which translates to good thoughts, good words, and good deeds. His success motto was fairly simple, to be committed to a single idea and to do everything in one's power, to make sure that it reaches its maximum potential. Jyadi cared greatly for his workers and always emphasized the need to work as one a team to achieve success for company as a whole. In 1956, he initiated a program of closer employee association with management to give workers a strong voice in the affairs of the company. This program clearly indicates that despite being applauded for his many contributions in raising stakes and numbers, he always humbly credited his team first. Tata received a number of national and international awards for his crowning achievements in aviation. He was bestowed with the title of Honorary Air Commander of India on 4th October 1966. He was also bestowed with the Padma Vibhushan in 1955 and the Bharat Ratna in 1992. Jadi Tata died in Geneva, Switzerland on 29 November 1993 at age of 89. His journey wasn't all peaches and cream. Jadi Tata was a nation builder who continues to be a source of inspiration to both young and old. Let's commemorate this great personality on his birth anniversary.